Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying five new to us bars. These are called Love Good Fats. They were $2.69 each at Jungle Gems International Market. I, a while back, posted a picture of uh, a couple of boxes that I found in our local Walmart, uh, but they didn't have single bars and they were very, very expensive. Um, so I was glad that I was able, it's always nice when they, when they come out with new bars like this, when you're able to buy them in singles, that way you know which ones you like and which ones you never want to buy again. Cause it's, it's horrible to spend a lot at like $9 a box, which is what I think these were. Wow. Um, and then to not like them. So this is a good way to try them out. Yes, you're spending a little bit more, but then you know from then on which ones you want. So uh, one of them says plant-based and the other ones don't. So this says, this is the, uh, like I said, love good fats. This is chocolate chip cookie dough. <coughs> this one is uh, peanut butter chocolatey. This one is rich chocolatey almond. Yes, right, almond. This it's is small. coconut chocolate chip. And then lastly, we have mint chocolate chip. So the first one we're gonna try, they all say new. They all say new. And the first one we're gonna try is the chocolate chip cookie dough. It says they are gluten free. Love Good Fats bars contain no artificial preservatives or colors or low in sodium and only use responsibly sourced palm oil. They have no added soy. They're sustainable. No sugar alcohol or low sugar alcohols, maybe. Uh, it's hard for me to read whether it's no or low. Um, keto friendly. Um, let's see, it's 190 calories. It says, enjoy my bars. They're delicious and you'll feel full longer. It's lovegoodfats.com. And these are a Canadian company. So uh, when I posted, well, that was broken. <laughs> when I posted that picture on um, Instagram, somebody had told me that at the time, that that is a Canadian company. So these may have been around for a long time in Canada and maybe they're just making it here. Is that too big or? No, that's perfect. So, chocolate chip cookie dough. Mm, much softer than I was expecting. Mm-hmm. I do get a chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. It's bit. much drier mm -hmm. than I expected. It's a little gritty too. Mm -hmm. It is. No, it is. It's that inside, whatever that whipped kind of... Yes part is it's a little it's a little grainy you know what though i really really like that flavor it's not bad the chocolate's a little bitter but um and you, it's, the chocolate's bitter <laughs> you get a grainy texture and it's a little dry and it's dry but the flavor but still is good but it's pretty decent yeah so I'm, I'm well it makes me excited to try other ones yeah. to see if there's one we really love um, um it, it's okay you would need a drink definitely you do need a drink with it that it your mouth out um so that has 14 grams of fat, seven grams of protein, and two grams of sugar per bar. The next one is the peanut butter chocolatey, and let's, you know, be honest, that's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Um, and same thing, these are ke all keto-friendly bars. Now, this one is higher calorie. This one's 210 calories, 13 grams of fat, nine grams of protein, one gram of sugar. If you're on keto and you're curious, Tammy posts a picture at the end of all the different nutritional facts, so you can um, you can look and see what the carbs and all that stuff. Yeah, and you can see you can calculate your own carbs. People carbs. Um, on keto, I have learned, have different standards for themselves yeah. on that in that lifestyle. Well, instead of us just telling you, just you so can calculate you can yourself. decide if it's right for your version of keto. Mm -hmm. That one's better, flavor-wise. Mm -hmm. I think it is, and it's it's still got that really gritty. This inside has got a really weird texture. It's very dry. I honestly, I like the first one better. Did you? I didn't. Like, I got a bitterness with the first one. I didn't with the second one. I don't mind that one. It still is very drying. It still is gritty. Um, but I think it's kind of a, a flat, it, it, the peanut butter isn't really, really sweet. Like I like oh, no, peanut butter. Um, 
if, even though I use powdered peanut butter, my powder, powdered peanut butter is sweet. Every time I make it, Kevin and Ashley go, yeah, gosh, good. that smells so good. Yeah, it smells good. Ashley put her nose right up to my sandwich the other night. It's like, <laughs> really? <laughs> um, but it's this peanut butter, is it's missing that sweetness, so it's it kind of a flat sweet. peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But I love the chocolate flavor in the first one, so. Yeah, see, I didn't like the chocolate flavor. Okay. The, the inside texture of these is so weird, though, because it's almost like it's whipped. Mm-hmm. And it's not like a creamy whip like you would get like a with right. a, like an inside of a piece of candy or something. It's not right. like that kind of creaminess. Right. It, it's just weird. It's it's, it's it is fluffy. Different. It's different it's than fluffy, any bar. But, but gritty. It's different than any bar we've ever <laughs> yeah, tried. Definitely. This is a rich chocolatey almond. It is 190 calories. Uh, two grams of sugar, eight grams of protein, 14 grams of fat. You see the coconut? And they feel all stuff in them. Little crunchy things. Same texture. I like the flavor of the almonds though. You see that almonds? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Rich that touch of salt. Almond. That's not bad. That one's okay. I still don't like it as much as the first one. I still, one? Yeah. yeah so that first one is still top top marks for mm. me. That one has that almondy cherry kind of flavor. And it's very dark. Yeah, I think they've all been kind of bitter. Um, it's very dark. Uh, so that one, it, it's just, that one's the same as the second one for me. Yeah. It's just okay. I kind of like that one. Uh, this is coconut chocolate chip, and it's 190 calories. Uh, two grams of sugar, eight grams of pro protein, 14 grams of fat. This one's broken. broken. I'll cut that one. I'll cut that Coconut chocolate that chip. Okay. Hmm? Get the coconut. Yeah, you really do taste coconut. Mm-hmm. I like, I like that better than the two before it because there's some sweetness to it. There's some the coconut adds some mm -hmm. sweetness. And I got even a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, I got that with that almond one. So I like the, the I like the, um, yeah, I'm left with salt. Mm -hmm. I like the sweet, I like the salty. I still don't like it as much as the first one. No, really? Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, that first one had a bitterness to me. The last one is mint chocolate chip. It is uh, 13 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, 2 grams of sugar, and it is 210 calories. So only two of these were 210 calories. Um, the uh, mint, the mint chocolate, and the peanut butter chocolatey were the only ones that were 210. The other ones were 190. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not a great mint mm -mm. flavor. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I don't think it's that I bad. I didn't like that at all. I thought it was that bad. Hmm. If I could have spit it out, I would have. <laughs> That's how much I don't like that at all. There's something. I mean, I would eat it again, but yeah. it's not something I'd want to get again and again. But it I did. I did absolutely did not it. like it. The the common mm -hmm. the, even the chocolate in that. Yeah. was so different for me and it, i guess it's just the combination yeah, of they them. didn't work well together it did it and was, chocolate and mint go really good together they do um, and especially dark chocolate but i did not care for that combination at all um my favorite i've said it the entire time was the uh chocolate chip cookie dough that would be the one that for me uh that would be worth buying a whole box really um that mine is the coconut and then the uh, almond were my favorite too. Yeah. They're they're good. They're not a bar I would want to eat all the time just because the textures are very... It's so different. There's no... I mean, the ones I picked, the two I picked very mm -hmm. specifically, and I think yours did too, um, have a little bit of a crunchy in there. They've, mm -hmm. had, they've added stuff that have the crunchy. The peanut butter, uh, I like the flavor of it, but the, there's no texture to it. It has a few little peanuts and that's it. The um, 
the last one, the mint one, is all smooth. It's, so yeah. there's no crunchiness at all in there. So mm -hmm. I don't I don't like that with no texture at all in there. It's just like this mushy, gritty, powdery kind of right. nasty texture. I highly recommend if because these are so different than any bar we've ever had to buy them single find them single if and you find can, a couple flavors that sound interesting yeah if you can't find them single wait until you can because i would be afraid that you would buy because they're very pricey bars mm -hmm. um i would be afraid that you would buy a box and then be disappointed you're just gonna be mad at yourself for buying them because they're that different so if you can find them in the singles, do it that way. And then, yeah, you might have wasted $2.69, but that's better than wasting $9 for a whole box because they're that pricey. And, so, and they are different enough to where I can get used to the texture. They are a little gritty, but they're not like sandy gritty, like, like I no, get with some things. Yeah. So, so they're better in that case, but I'd rather have just more texture to chew on. These don't have anything to chew. It all is just kind of like pushing around in your mouth and you swallow. Right. <laughs> that's, that sounds gross, but that's it. Well, if you um, if you know of where they sell these in singles in your area, let people know in the comments below. It's always appreciated. It's always helpful for other people to hear, oh, I can go in Kroger and buy single bars. Well, that's perfect. Then I'll do that or wherever, hy or wherever you want. Uh, you just need to let people know. And if there are other flavors, you can let people know about that too. These were the uh, all the flavors that I saw at Jungle Gems. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.